welcome finally the most requested video uh, in my life in Siganella mini series has been show us inside the unit with furniture so we know what fits what doesn't fit what we need to bring what we don't need to bring and I don't know why it took me two years to make this video this has been the most difficult video to make honestly but if you watched our move I'll tag it up here from San Diego you know that it took forever to get our furniture or our our household goods I wanted to unbox everything make it look nice then we started traveling like crazy then kids were off school for summer break so I had all the neighborhood kids in my house all the time anyways it was just never a good time to make this video now we are what like four days away from pack out and i decide that today is a good day to make a house tour video this is just how much i don't want to pack <laughs> anyways sorry to those who asked i'm sure it's probably too late for you but i know we will help somebody else to get an idea of what you should bring what you should store Let's do a tour of a three bedroom, two and a half bath unit here in Marinai. Okay, as you enter, every unit is mirrored. So you would either have the kitchen here, the bathroom here, or the other way around. Let's start with this half bath slash laundry room. Washer and dryer comes with the unit, so you do not need to bring your own now this shelf comes with the unit for your all your storage for the laundry supplies or the cleaning supplies or whatever you want to use it for this one is mine but i just wanted to use this <laughs> weird space to just store as much as i could in there and i got that shelf in ikea by the way then there is a sink mirror um right here i'm not gonna show it to you right now because it's very very messy <laughs> but i have all the kids toys in there i have like all my vacuums my mops um we store wine here so it's pretty big and deep but right now even if i open it you're not gonna understand because it is packed now um bathroom i mean toilet and that's about it for the first floor half bath okay now we go into the hallway this console table or hallway table is really hard to find here i actually went with a friend to look for one and we just could not find it anywhere ikea has some that's like half the size but if you have one i definitely recommend you bringing it because this hallway is pretty wide so you can totally fit like a decent size um, console table here okay right this way is a very good size closet um, so all it comes with is the hanging rack um, we added this shoe shelf from Ikea and so if you have something like this this would be great helps you stay organized all right now let's go into the kitchen you probably noticed that there's no door there's a few reasons why we removed the door one my kids were slamming the doors and jamming their fingers and two the lack of storage space i wanted to buy this shelf and just um, organize all my things here this shelf is from ikea and you guys it's like a perfect fit for this little corner here but of course if there would have been a door here then i would not be able to have the shelf as i mentioned before storage space is very limited in this kitchen the kitchen itself is a decent size however there's almost no counter space the microwave is provided so you don't have to bring your own unless you want to of course but um, once the microwave is here like this is all the counter space you have and this but like once you have a rice cooker and like a coffee maker that's it you have no space available obviously the stove and the refrigerator comes with the unit this is gas stove so as far as cabinets this tiny little cabinet and then one two three four five and they're small um so 
Before I forget to mention that every room has both European and an American plug, which is really nice. That means you can bring all of your appliances with you. Um, the main reason why I didn't bring all my appliances with me is if you remember watching my first video, we ha did not even consider living on base. Like we didn't even discuss it. Like we just knew we were gonna go live out in town. So um, with that in mind, I was thinking, oh, we're gonna downsize. So yeah, big mistake especially if you know that you're planning on living on base right away bring everything i miss my food processor i miss so many things that i just stored instead of bringing with me okay what else did i want to show you in the kitchen oh the pantry my messy pantry the pantry is very big and very deep right now it's very unorganized because i already sold my bins but i would recommend you guys buying the bins that way you can like keep everything organized otherwise like you can't even reach back there and it goes all the way up to the ceiling for all the like holiday dishes and stuff like that that you don't need daily you can keep everything up there um i think that's about it in the kitchen uh, let's move on to the dining room as you can see the dining room doors are also removed uh, but that once again like my kids kept slamming these doors kept hurting themselves and so i decided to just remove them and also kind of gave me like an open plan layout a little bit the dining room i actually love it's really grand one of my neighbors who is a very handy spouse built us this beautiful cabinet that I already sold <laughs> and that was this was a, like our coffee station slash wine station slash my husband's collection of whiskey um, but here you can have a cabinet like this or you can do you can have a desk like a little mini office if you need in that corner it's a pretty big and deep corner there now my table is uh big and there's still plenty of space here to have like a toy kitchen and um sit eight people comfortably and have like a little kids table there um, the backyard I'm not gonna show you there's nothing there anymore uh, we already got rid of everything um, these blinds they come with the house some people have brown some people have white oh and by the way they are machine washable they're just like a velcro on top you can remove it throw them in the washer but do not dry them because they will shrink this is part of our wine collection that I'm trying to inventory right now. Um, so if you're interested in learning about wine and how to bring Italian or Sicilian wine back home with you, follow me on Instagram. I'll link the name down here and I talk more about that process there. Living room is um, very versatile. I actually don't mind this living room. So obviously not ideal that the tv is covering the window but that was the only way for me to fit our large couch um, massage chair and these two chairs but a lot of people have the couch along this wall and have the tv um, kind of like in this corner right here a lot of people actually have the couch covering the window and have the tv along this wall right here so so many different ways to organize your living room you will definitely fit any size couch here oh before i forget carpet rugs area rugs you guys this let me see what size this is real quick what size is this couch Ugh, carpet maya so like what is this uh, 200 by 220 centimeters which is like six seven times eight ten this was the largest rug i can find in the whole sicily <laughs> no i found it in ikea it's not a great quality but it was just the biggest one so if there's one thing that i would recommend you guys bring is bring large area rugs 
if you like rugs because these tile floors could get very cold and slippery just uncomfortable to be stepping on i'm not gonna tell you how i fell down these stairs and couldn't walk for like a week but i'm gonna recommend you buy stair grips and you can buy them on amazon you can buy them pretty much anywhere um, but i'm just glad it was me and not one of my kids because let me tell you it was not fun to be on bed rest all right as you come upstairs right away you see a guest bedroom uh, right now it's prepared for a guest we're expecting tomorrow but usually it's just our home office because all of our girls decided to stay in one room this year i don't have curtains on my windows because uh, nobody really sleeps in here and i really didn't want to deal with drilling holes in these concrete walls so it's just the blinds that come with the unit and once again pretty decent sized room and a super nice closet the closet goes all the way up to the ceiling so up there we have all the storage of things that we don't use on the daily there are two other closets in the hallway one we use for linens very spacious and deep and the other one is my husband's closet because we don't fit in the master bedroom closet <laughs> then we go into my kids room um, all my girls are sleeping together still so we have two beds this is also the only room with curtains and the exact same size closet in all three bedrooms. I believe they're the same size. There. Inside, I wanna show you. Uh, the closet comes with just the hanging rack, but I was able to fit these two IKEA cabinets for like all the additional storage on each side. Next, we're gonna check out the guest bathroom. The guest bathroom has a tub, which is nice for the kids because in our case, it's our kids' bathroom. Um, it's kind of weird the way you have to hang your curtain this way so this whole area doesn't get wet and then all the way there. So we put a plastic uh, curtain first and then this one so it looks a little bit nicer in here. Um, it's got a shower. And then I guess I would recommend buying some type of like non-slippery mat because this tub is very slippery. Okay, um, here, like check this out. I don't know why they put their mirrors so high up. Like I'm 5'4", and like you, I can barely see my head in this mirror. So I bought a little one from Ikea and even on a stool, my kids cannot reach it by the way. So I bought this mirror and Ikea so they can see themselves um, and that's it bathroom toilet windows all the windows have these safety features right here so you can't really like open it all the way which is good when it's a kids bathroom and kids bedrooms see like all the windows have that remember i told you how i love the dining room setup and the living room is so versatile there's so many different ways to arrange the furniture i can't say the same about master bedroom there's really only one normal way to do it and it's not even normal let me show you why master bedroom's layout is not my favorite you also have a huge closet that goes all the way up um, now, because of the closet here and of the window here, I feel like this is the only um, way to fit a California King. This, by the way, is a California King and it still fits two nightstands because your other option is to put the bed along the window, which is not ideal, but then you will be facing this closet and this corner. So you could technically put a TV in there, but you would always have to keep the door shut. Uh, what we did was we put the TV right here on this concrete wall, which was quite a challenge. And then I would just have to move it this way. 
in order for it to kind of face the bed. But anyways, super weird layout. You have the door there and you have the bathroom there. Oh, before I forget, bring a humidifier. It gets really dry here. We've been using it almost every night. Hi. And that's my my kids are back from school and that's why I can never make these videos when you are at home messing things up. Okay, master bath is the only bathroom with a shower. Shower head uh, ideally would need to be replaced to where you can take it off and actually uh, properly <laughs> wash yourself, but we didn't bother to do that. Um, right here you have the sink. Um, mirror with some cabinets um, I was able to fit this IKEA storage unit in here for some more storage and right here this is just like this dead and empty space um, so I put my makeup table there I know it's not ideal to have a makeup table by the toilet but that's what we had to work with so that's how we had it set up I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please leave me a comment and let me know if you have any questions about moving to Siganella or living in Marinai. Although our time here in Siganella is over, I still have quite a few videos that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I still have a fresh food market recommendation. Um, I have the ultimate guide to Sicilian road trips coming up soon. I still have a trip to Cefalun, the trip to San Vito Lo Capo to share with you. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel. I'm sure you'll find lots of useful information there. There's also a playlist called Sicily. So obviously if you're stationed here, check out that playlist. There's so many cool things to do and places to go there. Anyways... I hope you enjoy your duty station here as much as we did and I know that we will miss Sicily dearly and it will be forever a part of us. I'll see you next week. Bye!